Hey guys, this is Ty Brown. I'm from Ty'sPlanes.com. Um, here I have a, a new building that I have just um, finished all the molds for. Getting, I'm gonna get ready to put it together. I've got it actually, the sides put together. I'm gonna show you how it goes together. And then we'll go through painting it. Uh, this is built in 120.3 scale. It's a 12 by eight foot built uh, like a minor logging, logging cabin. It had, uh, when you get it, it comes with four sides. Um, it's got two piece roof. It's gonna have the uh, windows that pop in. Um, also, you're gonna have a door. I, I, uh, the doorknob will be separate, so you can put it on there. You can put the door in either direction. You won't, you can leave it. Uh, I, I didn't make it one piece, so you can um, open it, shut it, however you wanna, however you wanna have the door. Anyway, um, <clears throat> It's got all the detail molded into it. Um, this thing goes together really easy. Uh, the biggest thing you're gonna have to do to it is paint it. Um, it's, I do mainly indoor. Uh, you could use this outdoor. The only thing you have to do when you do use something like this outdoor, you'll have to reinforce the inside with, um, I say, say, once you got it all built, just reinforce it with some uh, strips of wood um, that, that'll keep it from, if it gets really hot outside, any flex going on whatsoever, because it is resin. Resin does um, get affected by heat, you know, especially if you're in a really hot climate. Um, but anyway, but indoors, you'll never, never, ever have a problem. Um, what I do is, you can see, uh, it comes in four pieces. The, um, the two sides are recessed. All you have to do is I use CA glue. You just have to make sure you get good and square when you put it together. Is it's just recessed the same, um, the same depth as these stringers on each corner. Okay, so it all these just come out like they're the corner uh, pieces of wood that cover it. So it's really easy. CA glue uh, when it attaches this, it attaches almost immediately. So you just have to make sure. What I did is I started off. I just held it together and I put a little square. A piece of wood here to hold it together initially and then I went back and glued it and on the back side I just glued the sides directly into it uh, so it goes together really easy all you have to do is once you got it in is just put you a good bead of glue on the inside it'll it'll hold it'll hold it forever um, one thing you need to do with any of the resin parts up front is wash it um, I do use mold release um, before you paint, you want to just make sure you wash it, get any mold release off of it whatsoever. Um, I just use like uh, grease lightning, something like that. You don't want to use real hot water. Like I said, these things, I mean, these are thick enough that warm to hot water is not going to bother it. But um, the smaller pieces, you don't want to use real, real, real hot water on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it ready. I'm going to go ahead and wash these other pieces I hadn't done yet. And um, we'll go through the... Uh, showing how it's painted. So we'll get that done and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I got everything washed. I wanted to um, show you real quick about putting the roof on. Um, what I've done here is I've just taken the roof, the very first piece, uh, you, you can do the roof one of two ways. Um, I've taken this piece. I just, I, what I did is I sat here and I held it in place while I took a piece of um, just a piece of balsa, and like I said, CA attaches to this stuff really fast. So I just held this in place while I put that piece of balsa in right there. Okay. So then um, after that, I came in and I put the other piece on, and I, I reached from underneath and put the other piece of balsa in place just to hold this all together. Um, but you do need to make a decision. You can either put the roof where um, it just meets like this here and you'll have a little gap there or you can overlap it. Either way, there will be a piece of wood supplied that once you get it um, uh, installed the way you want it, this, this wood will come up over and it will actually join, like if you had the two pieces, it actually join at the top and overlap it anyway. So you're covering up the gap up here. So that will be supplied. It's like a roof cap. Um, but what I did mine for ease, 
um, is I just, I went ahead and did the overlap here. And when I go to glue this, I'll just have to run a bead of CA on there and just pull this in place, hold it together for a few seconds and it, it'll be stuck. Okay, now the roof will come off, but it'll be glued together. And what you can do then is once you get it in there, if you don't want the roof, roof removable all the time, you can either glue it on the insides, or if you don't want it to slide one way or the other, you, you can put little stops, maybe take a piece of balsa and do like I did here, but put it on the sides to keep the roof from sliding back and forth. Anyway, so um, what I've done is I've got this primarily done. I'm going to glue that together here in a second. But what you need to do is once you got it all um, cleaned and ready to paint, you need to go get you a good primer. Uh, something like a, I use usually mainly like Rust-Oleum. Now this is a red primer. Um, you don't want to go on too thick because you don't want to cover up any of the details. Put light coats, several light coats on it. Uh, just get really good coverage. Um, I'm going to probably, uh, if I had a black, I'd probably paint it in black because um, it'll help bring out the details later. So, but, but uh, I have this on hand. I'll probably go ahead and paint this whole thing, let it sit overnight so it'll get good and dry before I start adding other stuff. Um, this is a plastic. You need something that says it bonds to plastic. Um, and uh, we'll get that done and um, we'll continue from there. Okay guys, back, I'm back. I'm gonna show you the steps I've gone through to paint this. I did prime the whole thing in the, um, <clears throat> the was it the red the uh, red primer? Um, it's, what is it, a flat red primer from uh, Rust-Oleum. Anyway, I've come back and I've, I've used several different colors. My base color, which I paint two coats on it, and you're not trying to really load this up. You're just using just a nice, smooth brush. Um, I painted two coats. This is Anita's Desert Sand. Okay, Anita's Desert Sand. I painted that two coats, let it and let it totally dry. Then I come back, and I have three different colors that are are lighter than this yet than this than this. Well, they're a little darker colors. Uh, one is a um, Americana Yellow Ochre. One is Golden Straw from Amer Americana, and the last one is uh, Cermacote the Antique Gold. So what I do is I go and I just select different boards. And I hope you can see the difference here. There's different colors. I just, just kind of lightly painted each, each board. Uh, after I got to right as it got to the point of drying, I come back <clears throat> and I do a whitewash again with the Anita's uh, Desert Sand. All right, so I take that, I thin it down just a little bit and I brush it on it, it kind of blends all those colors together. So it just gives you a little bit of variance in the colors of the building itself. Then I go back with a, a, a black that I've thinned way down and, I brush, and I've brushed it on and I let it uh, uh, kind of darken it up. So it gives us a weathered look. The boy, it's not like a totally gray weathering. It's, it's, it's got like, is starting to get there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is once I get this whole thing to this point here, I'm going to seal it with a, um, I, I get this at the Hobby Lobby. It's like normally like $6 a can, you pay, you get you 40% off and it's, you know, three, three something. But anyway, I'll, I'll do the whole thing in a, uh, I'll seal it and then I'll go back with a wash again, a couple more washes and some more powders. But this will get us to the point where it looks uh, somewhat weathered. So I'm gonna continue through here. Uh, this one, I I, I've already done the whitewash. I'll show you how I do the whitewash real quick. Um, you can see that, hopefully you can see it, it's still a little bit, um, I, I've thinned down the paint just a little bit. So what I do is I just take the brush, <clears throat> I dip it in the water, um, I dip it in my paint, And now I'm just going to give it a whitewash. So I just, I'm just pulling it across it and it just kind of blends those colors. It kind of softens the darker colors that are on there. So you don't have anything that's too dark. So 
So I know you can, I, I can see it. I don't know if you can or not, but the, um, the colors like that, that, um, antique gold is a little darker, but this, this kind of thins it down. And when we get to starting to add the, uh, weathering colors to, or the, 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 the washes to it, it'll kind of, uh, make them blend in better, but it gives you a more varying color. But like I said, all these are just, I randomly paint boards. I paint the in recess boards and the, the slats that go on top, just different colors. So now I still have this one to do and I'll go ahead and paint these the different colors. I'll let all this dry and then I'll go and put my wash on there. So let me get this finished up to that point and uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, here we are back. Um, I've got this whole thing painted and you can see I've even come here and done uh, did the roof and I took individual shingles and I painted them the different color, just different colors. The only color I added was a, um, it was the, a, um, a Cermacoat raw sienna. That's the darker color on here because your shingles will, will weather differently. So I went, went ahead and went through there and you can see that I have, I have, painted them all, and then I whitewashed them with the um, desert sand. So we've got the whole building done around. You see the different colors on it. Um, now we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the uh, dark wash on it like this. I'm even gonna do the roof. So um, we're gonna dark wash the whole thing. We're gonna let it dry. Then I'm going to seal, seal it. And then we'll come back um, with the powders and um, finish the building up. I do have the windows started painting. I, I will, um, I'll probably put the windows in and, and, and before I start putting the, uh, before I seal the whole thing, I just wanna um, kind of make it all look the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, like I said, get the windows painted, get them installed. Um, I'm not gonna put the, the clear glass on the back of them yet, but I will go ahead and get them installed so we can get them painted the same color as everything else but I think it's coming along pretty good. You may be able to see in this a little bit better, the different colors that you get across here with you painting those individual boards before you whitewash it. So um, I think it's looking pretty good. We'll uh, get this all uh, in, the, in the dark wash and uh, we'll be back. Okay guys, here, I just, just applied the wash to this. This is the first of several. I'm, I'll probably seal it after this one dries. You can see, let's see here. Let's see if I can turn this around. I got the side done. Oh, I got it all done all the way around. Uh, you just have to make sure that you coat the whole thing when you do it, not just, not, not just part of it. You need to make sure you get the whole thing done so it will um, it'll look even. Um, you can go by and look at little places you may have missed. You have to catch it all or it won't, it won't, um, it won't, uh, dry evenly. You want to make sure while it's wet that you've, you've hit every piece, um, uh, got every nook and cranny, anything like that. So anyway, I'll finish this up or let this dry out and then we'll move along from there. Um, you can see it's really toned down the roof. That wash itself is, um, some being bright is, it's really toned it down kind of blended the colors together. Uh, we'll, we'll do some more washes up there to, to darken it up and um, to make it blend better. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, here we are back. Um, the, I, I've actually gone ahead and, and used, um, I'll tell you what I did. This, I haven't done this side yet. This is um, what it looked like after the wash and then I uh, gave it a dull coat with the um, that tester's dull coat that um, I, I told you I was gonna do. So it's all been sealed. Um, what I've done since then, I have gone through, and I, there, my door just fell in. Anyway, what I've done is I have gone and I've, uh, it's all been sealed. I took um, weathering powders um, and I have brushed them on to, <clears throat> to kind of blend everything in. You can see I've done all the sides, I got this, it's all done there. What I use is, I'll, I'll say, actually show you what I use. Um, I was in Belks one day with my wife and they had a um, 
a, a makeup brush set and it works fantastic. The bristles are nice and soft. It actually has about eight different um, brushes in it and it actually works good because these, these are super soft bristles. And what I use is I have a, um, a tray here. It's got a bunch of different chalks in it. Um, the best ones I use are the Rembrandt brand. They're very soft. They go into, you just have to shave them off. You can see I've got powder down in there. I shave them off and I dip the brushes down in and brush it on. I use different colors um, and get, just to get it to the, to the way I want to look. So you can see that side is done. This side has not been finished yet and I, I'm getting ready to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, the door actually fell in there. It's not glued in place. I'm going to put a, a stringer on the back and glue the door in. Um, I'm going to uh, seal this again with the dull coat. And then after it sealed the dull coat, I'm going to go back and uh, use a dry brush technique and just give some highlights over the whole thing. So what I'll do is let me get the, um, let me get this uh, dull coated again, or I'll get the other side of the roof done, get it dull coated, um, and then we'll finish this model up. Okay, now that um, I, I resealed it again, I, I used the dull coat. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and we're gonna dry brush this with a lighter color. It'll bring out the highlights. I've already done this one. It, it brought out the highlights in here. So um, we got a side here, it's, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. One thing I do buy, and I love, and I use these on, uh, on a lot of painting, especially on brushing, is I buy these Crayola So Big um, brushes. They're fantastic for uh, dry brushing and just painting anything with a hobby. It's, it's number 208 is the brush. Um, but anyway, what I, what I do now is I take this brush and I squeeze out some, this is a barn wood. I think I should really go with probably a steel gray, which is even a little bit lighter. But um, I don't know if you can see here, but I, t I load up the brush. We're gonna you know, load it all the way up, all the way around. And then we come down here on a towel, which I, I've just got it on my leg here. We're gonna load the brush up. I mean, we're gonna, now we're, we're getting all the paint we can get off the brush, that's what we're doing. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things one time. Try to look something to keep my building from moving as I brush it. Anyway, all right, so all we do now is we're just taking really light touch and brush back and forth. And what that does, it highlights all the edges, brings out, um, it doesn't get down into wood grain, so it doesn't take away any of your darkness, but it lightens up. I don't know if you can see, but that was dark here and it's lightening it up and making it look like more like of a, a weathered, old, older weathered look of wood. And like I said, I may even do a lighter gray, which would bring out even more highlights. This was kind of a medium. And you really need to be careful. It's best to get more off your brush than not enough, I mean, you start in too heavy and it, it, it'll mess up everything you've done under it. But I don't know if you can tell that, but I've lightened that whole area up. And now you can see the detail in it much better. So I've done two sides, just got one more side to do. Let's see if I can get it all done by one hand. I finished out the door and I just put it on, I put a popsicle on the back and the door's just held in there. If you painted this whole thing black on the inside, you could actually open the door or however you wanted it, but it's just glued in place. I do, the door comes without a door knob, but there's a, there's a door uh, knob with the kit and you just have to glue it over the place there. And I painted it a, uh, a rust brown. Uh, anyway, let's do the front here. I load the brush up again. I am cleaning it out. We're just going to be real light with our strokes here. And that just makes all this, all the detail of it pop. I do it easy on the door because it's not held in too tight. A 
like I said, the whole thing is is getting as much off of much off the brush as you can. So I don't know if you could tell or not, but that has just lightened that whole area up. It brings out the detail of the wood grain. You can see the wood grain in all that because I have lightened that whole area up. All right, so um, now all I gotta do is do the roof and we will be finished. I do have a, um, a smokestack that we'll be able to put out the side of it. It'll actually come out and go up. I did not, you know, I got so busy doing this, trying to finish this building up, I did not install it, but it will be included with the kit. You could put it anywhere you want, up front, back, or either, even in the back. It's, but it's a, it's a 90 degree smokestack that comes out. Um, <coughs> if you prefer, I do have one that just, that'd be a vertical one. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get this finished up and that's pretty much everything. Um, the only other thing you could do is if you want, they, they um, you can uh, put window material on the back side to make the windows look you know, like there's a true window in there. Um, I, I um, usually buy mine at um, Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. But um, anyway, so that's the building. It's all together. Just got, like I said, just a couple more highlights on it. But um, anyway, I'm Ty Brown. And I'm from, uh, like I said, Ty'sPlanes.com. Um, I'll have this kit on there available soon and uh, feel free to my email address and phone number is both on the web on that website tiesplains.com so thank you very much